infested swamps of the Everglades. The Everglades. The Everglades and the wild backcountry. Escuche la continuación de su reportaje especial Everglades. The Everglades is this place that, at least for me as a kid, I always dreamed of coming and going bass fishing. Um, and when I finally got here, I, I never went bass fishing once. The Everglades is my own personal sanctuary. Everything's different. You know, everything you saw the previous day means nothing. And you gotta figure it all out again. At the end of the day, the Everglades is a place that you go to get lost. just kind of happens. Normally in the morning, 7 o'clock in the morning, the phone will ring. I'll be like, hello? And he'll be like, hey Dave, you want to go fishing? I'll be like, yeah, let's go fishing. And that's pretty much how it goes down. If Jeff and I go fishing, man, we never take it too seriously. There's all sorts of fish in the Everglades. Snook, red, tarpon. The idea is to get in some fish. I can always count on Dave to go fishing on my days off. The kid just eats, thinks, and breathes fishing. If it's springtime, we might catch tarpon. If it's fall, we might catch redfish. Sometimes we catch nothing. Each season dictates uh, our targets. But year round, you never know what we're going to catch. We just take the opportunities as they come. Oh, look at that. What is it? It's big. 
See it? You ready? Oh, you find it. All right, come tight. Easy, easy, don't pull it too much. Nice. Never gets boring. And, and the minute it slows down, that's when you just do something so ridiculous. It changes the pace of the whole day, lightens the mood, and just keeps you having fun. Now I gotta go in the water. <laughs> we decided to set up the boat and the camera over here. Jeff's gonna follow me with this camera, and uh, we're gonna see if we can whack one of these snook on foot over here. Well, out past the path, that sunken ship, all but the shell at the southern tip. Long gone, flipped across that bar. Ain't no roads, ain't no cars. Get you a damn hook and zip your left now. We had done enough talking, see, it's time to fish. So you got us a date, we can't be late with a big old fish at Florida Lake. Blame that dinghy to get him to take. Gave me a fly, we don't need no bait. Get me a hook and I'm gonna zip my left quick, though. Cause I've done enough talking, it's time to fish. <laughs> That's why I tell him, switch up, take the push pole, I get to fish. Well, they call me a big one, give him some time. I got a snook and a hook to the end of my line. Take a jack and snap it, the snook's behind. Now I'm heading to the dock, I'm making a line. I gotta get a hook and a You got it off, all right. <laughs> Dave, I see a red just laying down on the edge of the mud line. All right, I don't, oh, there he is. He's, com he's coming at us. Yep, he's facing us. He's tail just sticking out there. Yeah, you ready? Good fish, dude, huh? Yeah. Hi, Connor. Cool. Put him down. Mail ready. Yeah, you, you can't count on Dave for everything. But I can always count on Dave to go fishing. You can catch snook from the dock, or you could run to the ends of the world and try to try to find where else they live, because they live all over. Snook don't just live in one place. They hide in plain sight. There might only be four or five inches of water there, and the water, unbeknownst to most people, isn't that dirty, um, and they still hide. They don't move all the time. They'll sit still and surprise you when you least expect it. A snook is very easy to catch. You can just take a minnow and put it on a hook, pretty much throw it anywhere in the gulf down here, and you'll, more or less, if you wait long enough, you'll catch a snook. But 
Is that what we're looking to do? Are we looking to just catch a snook? No, we're looking to hunt a snook. We had to go deep, deep into the, into the Everglades to find him. The places they live and the lengths as fly fishermen we have to go to try to catch them, most people, they think we're crazy. It's all right. Bank off that tree. Pull me left, 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 left. Good. Oh. The Everglades is such a vast environment. There's thousands of places to fish, hundreds of miles of shoreline, and the fish can go anywhere they want. Oh my God. A lot of times when I fish with Kevin, we'll spend the majority of the day getting to and from a spot that we don't even know if it has fish in it or not. But if we get lucky, sometimes there's a few. Most people would think, why, why would you go in that tiny boat out there and why would you go all this way to try to find a snook and then let him go? A little further, a little further. Just, that's all right. Good. Strip, 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 strip. Eat it, eat it, come on, eat it, eat it. Don't move. Oh my. Ugh. 15 feet in the boat. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Good, wait. We'll strip, strip. Oh God, I'm dropping! Strip it, strip it, strip it, strip it, strip it, strip it, strip it. Go, oh! Right, 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 we'll go back to uh, two o'clock. Come back, we'll go right, right there. Throw him right there about 25 feet, okay? Looking good, looking good, go. Wait, strip, strip it in. Before okay, we get really it's following, same spot, same spot. Good, perfect, wait. Strip, 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 we just ate it. Come on, come on, eat it again, eat it again. He oh, ate no. it. Popped right out of his mouth. Again. <laughs> Already. Right, well yeah, let's just, let's just go. Heading back empty-handed sucks. Sight fishing a trophy snook isn't something you go out and do all the time. It's a quest. It's a long battle that doesn't really end until you win. You never know when that victory might come. Down here on the left. I've seen him in there pretty good. You see one? Giant. Yeah, yeah, okay. Giant fish. Two of them. Coming around the that. neighborhood. Okay. Easier shot. Good, wait. That's good. Strip, he's on it. Strip, strip. Little strip. Strip, 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 strip. Oh, see, that's a big fish, big fish, Dave. That's a good one. Oh, yeah, baby. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stay low, stay low, stay low. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on. Whoa. Keep it down. Keep it down. Don't worry about strip, 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 don't worry about it. That's 
Unbelievable, dude. What an awesome payoff. What a great move from the first spot. I can't believe Murphy gave us another shot. The apex of fly fishing to me, in salt water, sight fishing, um, is a 20 pound sight fished Everglades snook. To sight fish a, a big snook is just one of the most exciting ways to fly fish, period. Yeah, Kevin will tell you, I mean, he probably sees 20 a year, you know, maybe gets two shots and at them, and from those two shots, if he gets one to eat, he's doing pretty good all year. Giant snook fishing for them every day. I've only ever caught one giant snook in my entire life. It was the best fish I've ever caught of all the fishing I've ever done in my entire life anywhere with any fly rod, bait spinning rod, anything. It was my most stoked moment in fly fishing. You're never going to forget that fish, are you? No, there's, I mean, I know every little detail of that whole event. We were running out of time, we were running out of light, shape in the water, blah, garbage cast. And uh, it landed right between her eyes. Her eyes like crossed at it and uh Oh my gosh, trip, 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 trip it over his head. Trip, 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 trip. Oh my god, it's a monster! It's a giant thing! Oh my god, it's a Anytime you set out to achieve a long-term goal and actually succeed, you sleep pretty good that night. Dust and gravel, cradle to you almost just want to sit back and, and enjoy the moment. So goes another onto the sea. Got more Earl. Waves you know on water Man. from beginning of breeze. And we'll use the pot. What makes me whole? Buddy from Key West. Uh, Willie's a permit fishing guy, um, and Willie's the number one guy I've been most excited to show snook fishing to. Uh, when I came to the Everglades for the first time, I got completely lost. I started looking at details, I started thinking about ponds, I started trying to remember where Kevin took us. <laughs> oh man, I was so just wrapped up in every kind of, I want to describe this thing 
I, I was reading Peter Mathiasen and I was getting craggly branches and shadows upon shadows and multiple levels and meanings and history and I realized I got down here and I completely just forgot what it was all about. How did it feel? Um, what can I say? The first time you do anything, it feels pretty good.